Okay. I'm going to talk a little bit. I, I talked at length and then I came to the realization that there's no way Camp Studio is going to be able to capture as much video that I had. And I was talking about uh, all sorts of great stuff. I, I want to say a little bit of something here. What is what is the Microsoft going to do with the VR industry? You know, what are they going to do to push it? Why don't I pose this question? What's going to kill VR? How are we going to kill VR? Uh, what's going to do it? Or how is VR going to kill everybody? You know, because it is a game changer. So let's talk about it on this. Is it going to kill? And we could, we could probably set up a panel of people doing this. You know, we could pit the people who are for VR and the people who are against VR, put them on panels and have them discuss it, debate it, and do it in alt space VR. That would be great, you know, have that kind of uh, interaction. Because um, that, without that, then you don't really know, you don't understand the potential that it has in either way. Okay. So I'm, I'm putting that, I'm pushing that forward. I think we sh ought to think about that. Okay. Now, um, you're looking at Blender. And I created this copy of stuff here. I did that less than a minute. It doesn't take you any time and to create content in Blender. Um, and it's possible for me to take everything that's here, um, take all this stuff, I'll uh, select everything that's here, or a good number of it, and then I'll say link uh, mesh data. Now you got 286 of the same mesh. The if I select one of these and edit it, you'll see it's all the same mesh. It's I just instanced all that stuff. Okay, there's also a way to make it un to uninstance it. I can take it within one individual thing. I can say make that a single user, and it makes it its own user. But I can always just uh, take everything that's there. Select that thing and make it the the new uh, the new mesh and grab that and now everything is that guy that selective instancing that's probably the thing that nobody understands about Blender um, let's go ahead and uh, create a new Blender file. Split. This is 2.04. This came out 20 years ago. So, um, uh, I'm going to try to sell this idea that Alt Space VR needs to be developed with Blender 2.04 or the modern Blender. But uh, let's let's look at the potential of doing stuff with this faster. things now the trick is this is a um, aligned constraint uh, a, a alignment constraint and it's done by when you grab your item the direction of the nearest axis determines which one you're uh, constraining to whenever you hit the middle mouse button. So it it's the X there. If I went up and down, it would be the, oh, ooh, it would be that, I guess, because that's pretty close. But if I did this, it would be different. If I went up and down, whoops, grab, I want to go, oops. <laughs> there, come on. 
really want to go down to there. Okay. And it's uh, it depends upon how close you are. It's it's a, a sort of a gesture um, oriented effect. And the reason why I know it's gesture based is because Ton already had gestures in Blender. Um, this will do a rotate. So what you do is you left click with your mouse in 2.04 and you make a circle and it changes to a rotational uh, control. If you do a V, it uses scale. And if you do one direction, there we go. There's our, uh, so if you just make a line then it does translational. So you can do all that with gestures. That's how Blender is able to recognize this constraint stuff that was in there from the beginning. Um, if I want to hide this, I, or, um, I'm in a mesh and I'm working with the mesh and I get really complex and I want to hide some stuff, I hit it. You know, I hid part of the geometry from myself. That was in Blender from the beginning. Um, other things that were in Blender from the beginning. Uh, well, I, I pointed out the instancing, selective instancing. Oh, um, anything can be a camera. Control zero. I just made that cube a camera and I can start rotating it and uh, position it. And. Uh, Rotating that. See, now it's like a camera. And I could probably render from that. This is uh, another thing that Blender does. Cursor to select. You move the cursor to something close by. You go out of um, edit mode, add a lamp. And uh, the amp lamp uh, works in parallel to the view directed from that point and uh, so you put it there and hit F12 and I can't see it because I just it went off the screen let's change the disk view and then uh, hit F12 there it is in the view it's the wrong, um, it's the wrong um, focal effect. Um, we use a regular camera. Let's do a control zero, grab, 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 rotate. Another thing, Blender supported layering effects. So um, I could go to a light, turn it on to layer, turn the shadows off, select something here, put it in, in a layer, lock it, lock that layer or lock these two layers. So lock that and then put this into this other layer, put that into the same layer as that, switch back to lock layer, and uh, since it's layer it should only light that item and these won't get lit um, unless those other things are, no they're not. So, and then if I hit render, only that gets rendered. Um, I can take these, this one, and change the color slightly and move it to a layer where the, all the things are on it. And hit uh, C. So you can see that the effect that the layering effect does. That was part of Blender back then. Um, Blender had particle effects. Um, 
you've got these guys wowing people with the particle effects in Altspace VR. I'm like, big deal, big friggin' deal. Um, add a mesh uh, UV sphere. Um, and uh, let's see, new effect particles. Set up normal. I need to turn that off. It won't appear unless I'm out of edit mode. So you can probably see that happening there. Vector. Uh, if you want it to be randomized, you go over here and you. Um, do an X sort or um, a hash is what you need. And, uh, or, what was it, noise? Yeah. I think hash. Okay. There we go. That's how you get it randomized. Or you can do an X sort. So it did that, and uh, let's uh, try this. Vertex parent. Turn that. Duplivert. Okay. Is, have you seen enough? How about this? Um, texture. Uh, we go over to here. Uh, material. And then we add a material. Texture. Drop that material. Put in a, a noise effect. Or maybe not that noise effect of the Ken Perlin effect here. That's our noise function, our Perlin noise. Put some turbulence in there. And uh, I think that has to be in the ninth. I'm not sure if it has to be in the ninth place. Go to the material side and well, that's the material buffer. Oh, there's the texture buffer. So, what does that do? I forgot. Yeah, copied. Then we take it to the ninth thing and then we paste it back down. And uh, then should be able to affect that texture. And we turn on gradient, nabla, turn the nabla up. And uh, see how all those things are kind of moving randomly a little bit. Um, let's turn the norm down, the normal. So it had that capability, but it always did the same um, pattern every time. So you, you took it somewhere in the center, and then you could uh, turn it around, and then you could adjust the, uh, and it would re, it would recompute your, your effect. So you could perfect your, uh, that, and you could affect the texture based uh, forces. You could enter in um, some random noise. Let's do a Z 
And since these are all the same thing, the same emitter, I'll find the original thing, go back down, find the original dependent, and uh, put him in another layer so that we don't have to deal with the, the output. So we'll stick him in two layers at the same time. OK. And then I'll go to another layer on that screen. And so I can work with my 3D stuff there. Uh, wait one second. Uh, I think there's a way of turning it off. But I can go ahead and work in this layer, uh, layer, change the size of that data, or scale it. I need to adjust this guy here because he's still looking at that junk. He's not seeing the big picture. And uh, see, yeah, I've seen everything. Um, that you could duplicate objects. You could do particles if you wanted to. All particle is is just a polygon with a texture on it. Aim that's uh, set to aim at the camera. It's normal. It's supposed to aim at the camera, and that's how it produces little, little particle effects. Um, and um, but you could do this with lights. I could do that. I could uh, take the light. Um, well, take any light. Let's take a a spotlight. I add a lamp. Turn the lamp into a spotlight and adjust its breadth and uh, oh yeah by the way if you just uh, shift click on uh, any period uh, any uh, entry in here you can always put in a, a value that way and so I'm going to go here and select a point on the surface make that a vertex parent. Now I have um, tons of spotlights going crazy um, all over the place. And um, so we can go ahead and move that uh, spotlight or um, let's see if that has any effect. And then we do a, a test render adjust the, the intensity of it yeah. so there you go that's there's that that uh, you probably didn't know the particle effects that blender has we could add uh, another layer on top of that um, how about this we create a lattice and we increase the size of the lattice several points Scale that lattice up, put it here, parent that to this, make parent, then select some points on there, grab them, uh, whoops, B. and I grab, come on. And the particles that get emitted will also be affected by that. They, um, let me, let me adjust the particle effects. So they're slower so they can see them going through it. So we turn down the texture effect, turn down the normal effect. 
or just have it a little bit up then uh, let's adjust our spotlights distance stuff and adjust its clip which is the longer thing and then do this let's adjust the lifetime of the particle Lifetime, increase it. Doesn't seem to be affected by it, but let's see. I wonder if I can uh, do some manipulation over here or outside it, it's more obvious whenever you can uh, you, can, you can do the but it will the lattice will uh, affect the direction of the particles so you can control particles that way you can also have this moving so like I can move it over here set uh, location rotate scale size stuff and then adjust my frames and uh, move the guy down here set the locate rotate scale and uh, then have the thing um, adjust the object so, and then I needed to adjust the end. Try it again. So you could do particles following an object and uh, let's adjust the in frame for the animation that's located down here and I think there's a way to get it to get affected by the uh, lattice. I forgot how to do it. But I know that the particles will uh, get affected by it. Let me adjust something on the lattice. I'm going to give it a... Oh, it's already set to be spline. Um, Crazier. Okay. It's, it's not computing it for some reason. Probably won't follow it, um, and, uh, but uh, it does that. It does the the particle effects, and uh, 
I think I'm pretty sure there's a way to get it, to force it to uh, to uh, to go through the uh, lattice. I just forgot how to do it. And then there's also dupla dupla frames, uh, which is affects the. They can duplicate offsets. And uh, no speed. And that's for if you want to duplicate things along the animation uh, curve. But it's obviously not following the lattice either on that as well. See, is there anything else that I can point out that Blender did? I talked about, uh, did I talk about uh, linking? How it, how it uh, oh, I guess I showed that. Um, how you control the linking of objects in the data structure is in the above here. There is these features here. Let me turn off the tooltips. You can, uh, if you turn on all these, and you duplicate something, it makes a full duplicate of that, um, of that item. It's a little harder to see unless we uh, get to get a new uh, perspective here. Ah, and it crashed. Let's do it on this guy. This is what version of this? I think this is the recent version. Is this is 2.8. Uh, so um, go ahead and do a new reload start file. And uh, well, 2.04 did this, but uh, um, I'm just pointing out. want to split that screen it's right click split area okay and uh, let's change this to a dat viewer doesn't have the, the old outliner does it view show hierarchy or I don't know. This is not a very good view of uh, data structures, but uh, you see there's a cube and it owns a material. And if I, uh, I wonder if they still have that thing up in the top. Nope. Uh, why it's stopping me is because there's something over here that's getting oh it's that right there I need to get rid of that I need to bring this up into that space there we go and now it should let me push this down um, there it is the duplicate data the uh, I turn all that on there and I duplicate this. It gives me a full-on duplicate of the object. If I do those off and I duplicate it, um, 
is it easy to see that it is using the same material? Not really. But you can see it's using the same material. It's easier to see on the other view. I don't know why they got rid of it. Uh, show hierarchy. Data blocks, that's what I want. There we go. Or, um, orphan data. Selected. It's data blocks. I'm wondering what happened to that uh, two-dimensional view that made it easy to understand that part of Blender. I'm going to go ahead and quit and bring up another copy of Blender, the 2.04 that we were originally working with. Oh, oh here's here's a copy it's down here, two point. That's not much different. And we can go in here, get a new file, erase all, and it crashes. Wow, that's amazing. 2.04, let's get, get the guy back up and open. Yeah, the old version of Blenders were buggy and hurt. That's the reason why it had auto save. Okay. Zoomable interface, not a big deal. It had radiosity in it. Uh, nobody, um, I don't know if anybody remembers what radiosity is. Um, it was just a way of computing the way light works in real life. Um, but it would, uh, it would uh, make it directly into the model, which made it only useful for um, architectural views of spaces and uh, hey I wonder if I can do it let me try it add mesh cube see how much I remember of it um, scale that grab that Set the. Have to make one of these an emitter. And how do I make it an emitter? I forgot. here that's this is emitter and then that's has got some color to it and I put that over here and Go to radiosity. I select everything, and I say um, collect meshes, and I say go. There we go, and that's how radiosity worked. And uh, let's say free radio data, and I could put uh, something in there. I could uh, select all that, duplicate that. Grab it. Oh, let me select that. Link P separate. Make it separate object. Uh, select all that. Extrude. And then I can make this blue. The color that blue. Or not blue, but make it a slightly orange. Oh, I have to take that off. Because that, 
that's yellow and I want that to be green and then maybe have something over here that uh, is extruded and this is still emitting select all these things together go back to the radiosity do a collect meshes and go and notice that uh, the edges of it are a little bit green and over here there's free radio data adjust um, I think there's a way to select how much of the color gets transmitted or, or let me try that collect messages go yeah free radio data just gamma multiply go or oops collect meshes go yeah what it really is doing is it's trying to simulate the way light works and uh, they used it uh, ton used it whenever he had a um, he had a model uh, he had a had to do um, some sort of um, uh, architecture model and he needed to do it for a client he would do that he also had in it uh, a way to um, compute a, based upon the scene, compute a, um, compute a, a, a skybox type of effect. Um, let me look that up. See if I can remember how that one's done. I think it's in here. Uh, How's that done? I forgot. Anyhow, there's a way to force it to do a a um, to do a a, a all around. Yeah, there's there's a way in here, and I've forgotten how to do it, um, to compute a skybox, or not a skybox, but a um, a uh, a uh, oh, I think it's a camera effect. Is I think what it is. You bring the camera into the thing that you want to render. And then I think it's probably uh, is it panorama? Something like that. There's some way that you can get it to compute all, all the sides of, uh, but you could you could put it a uh, camera in a space and then it would it would uh, render to um, 
multiple views and then map it onto a reflection map. It would it could do a reflection map. I'm trying to remember where that was done in the interface. Anyhow, that's it. You, you've probably seen enough of what Blender can do. Uh, um, but it, it's, uh, oh, I wanted to show you the data thing. Let me split it up here. Bring up the dat viewer. And uh, when I duplicate this plane, it du duplicates that data. And uh, if I make this original, it then gives it its own data, I guess. Or so that builds on that. And uh, I want it to have its own, it has its own material and I want it to have its own texture. It has its own texture. Let's say I want it to duplicate everything. I select this and hit duplicate. Now it's copied the material and the texture and the plane rather than saving it, which it, um, rather than if I did something like this, I'll show you what happens whenever all these are off. And I do a duplicate. It, uh, it just creates another transform of the same mesh. So these are the same meshes. These are instances. And uh, the, whereas these guys are a different thing, if I turn that mesh off and I didn't do a duplicate, it gets its own mesh data, but they share the same material. And if I edit that guy, he doesn't modify everything else, but I can always selectively select everything else and make it all the same mesh data where it is let's see let's see how all that stuff is pointing at that plane that's sitting over there let's see they're all pointing at that plane now if i want to make them originals i have to go to the edit buttons like this guy and that's how you make that stuff original again and uh, and blenders backward and forward compatible file format compatible there's tons of stuff you can do in here I haven't even touched the surface and I was just talking about stuff that I wasn't even think I, I don't even remember how to do um, I can tell you what all the stuff does in here in another video, but I'll just let this thing go.